Oh my god, it's P1. Oh my god, it's P1. What the hell? It's P1. What do I do? I don't know what to do. I was just having a drink. This is so random. Oh my god, it matches! <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Luke here, and welcome back to another video. Today, you join me once again in my Audi A1, as I am heading up to London to visit my friends at Romans International. Now, seeing as it is an absolutely lovely day here in the UK, I probably shouldn't really be going to any dealerships, I probably should be filming outside, but there is a very, very special car, which they have at Romans, which I wanna go and see, as you can probably tell that by the thumbnail and title of this video. So, without further ado, I think let's hit the road and get on our way to Romans. So we've just arrived here at Romans, as you can see behind me, and we have some absolutely phenomenal cars just chilling outside here. We've got a 16M which is of course the convertible version of the Scuderia, which is a really special car to find just parked up here. This one finished in Rosso Corsa with the Italian stripe, but it also has a hell of a lot of carbon on it, as you can see, if I point down here to the side skirts. I don't think that's a very common option on the 16M, so very cool to see that. Um, but as well as that, we've also got two LTs here. This one finished in Volcano Orange, but this one finished in a very, very rare MSO color called Amazon Color Stream. So basically, as you walk around it, the color changes. We've got blues, purples, greens, golds. It's an absolutely beautiful color. It really does accentuate the LT. It just looks miles better than kind of a standard color option like Volcano Orange. This one, rather interestingly, actually, I've noticed when we've got two here so I can compare them. This rear bit isn't in carbon. It's kind of in like a metallic gray, but it just shows how much better the satin carbon looks on the back of the LT. Certainly one of the best I've seen, that is for sure. As well as that out here, we've got a matte yellow Aventador, which is very nice. Uh, the 16M, which I spoke about earlier. Grigio Silverstone, I think, Speciali. Uh, and an AMG GTR as well, which is very nice. But the stars of the show, as always, are inside the showroom. So let me waste no time and head on inside. I am absolutely surrounded in hypercars. The F50 here, looking amazing. Next to that, we've got a Veyron, P1, S3 Roadster, and then the real reason why I came here, the TDF. Now, as you can very clearly see, this is no standard TDF. This, I believe, is a one-off color, which is a matte variant of the Blue Electro. Now, Blue Electro in its gloss form is probably my favorite Ferrari color ever. So it's absolutely insane to see it in its satin form. But what I really like about this car is they haven't gone overboard with the satin. As all the carbon options on the TDF that come as standard are still done in gloss, and that's a nice contrast, I think. And as well as that, we've also got the yellow brake calipers, which do break it up nicely as well. Another awesome feature on this is the satin black uh, kind of historical stripe across the bonnet as well. But oh my god, what a car, what a spec. Now I believe after doing a little bit of research, this paint is actually £30,000 worth. In my opinion, it is totally worth it because it is just such a nice colour. I mean, I can't stop looking at it. I mean, it's a TDF anyway, so I'm going to love it. But... Uh, it's just amazing. I absolutely adore it. Keep turn your world upside and down. And I don't feel like I wanna wear the crown. Oh, have you heard about the free world? Is it true what they say? See the thing is with dealerships like this, is I really want to talk about every one of these cars, but it's just really awkwardly quiet in here that I really can't talk properly. Um, but yeah, there's some amazing cars in here, and um, I'm pretty lost for words, really, but yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of a bit awkward, really, isn't it? <laughs> now, because we have so many incredible cars in this one room, I'd like to hear what is your favourite. So let me know down in the comments which one is your favourite, and which one would you take home? For me, 
has been the TDF. But moving away from the TDF, as hard as that is for me, we've also got some other exceptional cars in here. We've got an SA Aperta here, which is officially one of 80 in the world, but I believe a few more than 80 were made. I think that's finished in F1 2007. We also have an F1 2007 599 GTO, of course, the coupe variant of the SA Aperta, so very cool to have both of those side by side. Over here we have kind of a rusty orange colour Vanquish Segato, which is really cool. There's a lot of hype over these things at the moment, and to be honest, I can see why because they are a very good looking car. Over here we have da -da -da, SLS Final Edition and tucked away in the corner we have a PDK 991.2 GT3. So as always a huge thank you to the guys here at Romans International for being so accommodating and letting me film all the cars and just get up close to them because it's just absolutely amazing seeing all of these things all in one room. I'll leave their Instagram link down in the description down below even though you guys already follow them because I mean Place is just a car lover's heaven. So back outside where I can talk properly again without being awkwardly noisy in the showroom. Um, but ah, oh, that TDF, I literally cannot put into words how perfect it looks in person. 28,500 for that paint job um, to be exact, uh, but it, it's just so worth it. With the yellow calipers and maintaining the gloss carbon is just absolute perfection. And rumor has it, it's delivery mileage. It's a 2016 car, C63. Um, and it's got delivery mileage. I just, I just really hope someone buys that car and just drives it so we can see it out on the road properly. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's it for Romans International now. Uh, I was expecting to, for this to take a little bit longer than it has. So I think I'm gonna delve into central London and see if there's any other dealerships that I run into on the way because um, why not? It's a lovely day and I'm having fun filming this video. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think let's go. <laughs> oh my God, it's P1. Oh my God, it's P1. What the hell? It's P1. What do I do? I don't know what to do. I'm just having a drink. This is so random. Oh my god, it matches! How's this for a lineup then? 360 Challenge Dali, 458 Speciali, 599 GTO, LaFerrari. Full carbon Bugatti EB110 SS Dower Edition, another LaFerrari, another EB110 SS, SS meaning Super Sport by the way, uh, and a 288 GTO. Wow. So yeah, if you haven't guessed, I'm at Joe Macari's service, and um, well, this is a lineup and a half. This is Joe Macari's personal LaFerrari, but I'd just like to cast your attention over to this full carbon EB110. This is just an absolute work of art. I've got brown interior as well, which is yeah, somewhat debatable I suppose, but just the carbon on the thing, it, you can tell that it's retro carbon because it's not so perfect. I mean, the the weave goes in different directions, but it, if anything, it's, it's more sparkly than the kind of current carbon which you get on cars. Yeah, this thing is an absolute work of art. It's got tire writing as well. The owner tends to put tire writing on all of his cars, which I highly respect. <laughs> One thing as well, which I've kind of noticed whilst just sat here admiring all of them, is just how modern that looks, even compared to something like a LaFerrari, which is probably one of the most modern looking cars that you can buy. Um, it's actually quite amazing. I like how they parked it, kind of like that as well. But um, yeah, this is a pretty hefty lineup to say the least. So I thought I'd take a quick peek inside the showroom, but because I was here not too long ago, I won't ramble on and show you everything that's in here. I'll just show you some of the stuff which I think is new. This being one of them, very nice Bianco Fuji 599 GTO with the, I think, TDF blue or blue posi stripe. Either way, it's blue and it's very nice. Um, yeah, really nice spec, got blue interior as well, which you probably can't see right now, but um, yeah, nice. And as well as that in here, we have a yellow F50. This thing is insane in yellow. I think this is the first yellow F50 I've seen. Absolutely love it. And of course, we've got the TDF here, which I can't help but uh, have a look at. But this, this is sick. Love that. But as well as that, I think everything in here is kind of similar to what it was when I last came out. Now, if you didn't see uh, the video I put up when I came here last, I'll put the link in the description and at the end of this video if you want to check it out. But for now, I think we're going to waste a little bit more time. Enjoy the sunshine in central London. Let's go.
So I've just bumped into this gorgeous GT2 RS finished in what looks to be crayon grey and has come all the way from Luxembourg judging by the plates. I am absolutely in love with these cars recently. Even though I have seen quite a few of them recently but it's good to see that deliveries here in the UK are well underway and it seems in Luxembourg too. So yeah, props to Anna for driving it here all the way to London but let me just show you this spec up close because it's, it's rather nice. So like I mentioned, it's finished in crayon grey. It's also fitted with the all-important Visac pack so that means we got the uh, upgrade wheels and all of this carbon all over the car and onto the spoiler as well. But I think that these gold wheels complement the Crown Grey so, so well. And as well as that, we've got a pretty bold interior. We've got the red accents all over. Um, but oh, this thing is so, so nice. It's so nice to see one up close. And I have to say, this one is dripping in carbon. So I kind of have run out of time here in London, so I thought I'd pull over and do my outro and stretch my legs at the same time. It's been an absolutely fantastic day overall, um, but I apologise. I didn't spend enough time here in central London. I didn't really see much, but we, we saw a few decent stuff. But um, anyway, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Nonetheless, if you have, make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures that we have.